Whenever I say Jefferson Airplane to somebody, it's usually some bullshit about Alice in Wonderland. Occasionally, some people will mention the album service of Pillow. I mean, ah, surrealistic Pillow. I mean, it definitely has some good Marty Balance stuff on there. Coming back to me is a good song. And by the way, I know this is a Donovan cover. I'm more familiar with the Airplanes version. Not to mention, they actually mentioned fucking Jefferson Airplane in the song. According to Paul Kantner, Donovan wrote the song and there was a dog in the studio named Jefferson Airplane. He just walked in at random and he was probably stoned as fuck and tripping on acid when he entered the studio, of course, because it was the hippy dippy trippy slippy 60s man. But anyways, according to Paul Kantner, Donovan wrote a verse to the dog. All he did was replace Trans Love Airways with Jefferson Airplane. And apart from that, he'll be so kind and consenting to blow your mind. If you know what I mean. Not in the lysergic sense either. I just made an image circulation joke just now. But I'm pretty sure if Grace Slick was singing this song way back in the day, she'd have done the same damn thing. Because it's Grace fucking Slick. Crown of Creation's a fun song to... Actually, I'm sorry, Crown of Creation, the album, is fun to listen to on acid. The song itself is just okay, but it's, uh, it's one of those early Paul Cantor songs where he's trying to be a revolution. I like him better when he's tripping his fucking brains out and singing nonsense. I said Barrett should have collaborated with the airplane man. It would have been cool seeing him with Rocky Erickson. Or I think Jefferson Starship would have been a much better band if Rocky Erickson was their lead singer. I mean, come on, he, he had songs about aliens and shit, man. That would have fit perfectly with a band called Jefferson Starship, right? In addition to Aliens, he also had songs about Two-Headed Dog and Satan. I mean, yeah, Jefferson Starship has a song called Devil's Den, but it's not about the actual devil itself, so, you know, it's pretty fucking lame. There's also that band Coven from the late 60s, which people always compared them to Jefferson Airplane for some reason. I guess because they were a late 60s band with a prominent female vocalist. But that's where, to me, that's where the similarities end. They don't really sound that much like Jefferson Airplane. I mean, Christ, people, for fuck's sake, get your heads out of your psychedelic buttholes. Quit surfing, man. That's just the way you're surfing USA. I'm traveling at an altitude of 39,000 feet. You hear that, Donovan? You can't fucking sue me because I'm way up in the fucking sky. And I very highly doubt that you still drop ass and shit and get high. But I'm actually completely fucking sober right now. I'm just strumming the same damn E chord over and over again. This is Dolan Hoser, demo number three for archive.org. I'm pretty sure Mark Sanibel from Atari Punk Console is going to do a remix of this, and so Peter Norbase is, I guess, right there for real, okay? Because, I mean, come on, it's kind, it's kind of a neat song right there.
should listen to when you're on acid and watching clips of Catanooga cats on mute on YouTube. And apart from that, he'll be so kind, but who the hell is this he in question? Fly transgender airways get you there on time. Fly transvestite airways get you there on time. Can you believe there's actually ukulele tabs for this song? It's fucking absurd. about the first verse of this song? It sounds like saying he will bring you a uh, half penis in a pipe. <laughs> then, but that's not all. That's not where the humor ends. He will then ride away on his silver bike. He has a bike apparently. It's, it's silver. Let's be one of them rich kids. Oh, um, apart from that, he'll be so very kind to, uh, come, and, you know, he'll, he'll be so very kind in consenting to, to blow your mind away, dude. I always keep thinking of a fucking dog riding a bicycle, an anthropomorphic dog that doesn't really talk or anything. There. I'll bet he wears socks. Probably caught your interest how Randall Kitty Davis. 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 Okay. is another instrument man if I was Devandra Banhart then I'd be considered a genius right now if I'm doing shit like this or will old him he's an old ham alright I'm gonna use this recording and it's gonna be on a split 7 inch with current 93. No, be, sorry, split 12 inch because this recording is going on for too long to be on a 7 inch. This will be a split 12 inch record with current 93, or maybe six organs of admittance or some other freak folk, neo folk type crap. 
maybe law of attraction will release this. No, you won't release it. It's dust underneath my street. But it's not the dust of angels. And now you're going to go stab me in the face. And now I'll let you come to the kill of mine. And go ahead and get behind me, Satan. It sounds like a wiper's rare. Storm approaching, storm approaching 
know It's what they call a real ship storm Storm coming on Storm coming on It's what they call a real ship storm Paul Candler's really old man And he's just what he likes I'm gay He's wearing scrubs. Tom. 
My dog wore socks. Too long. Oh Christ. 
I guess ketonorvasis. Ketonorvasis is right there. And that Monday happens to be one of them. I guess. Okay, so there's kind of a neat conversation right there going on right there. Uh, Matt Monday said, It half your voice, but you know, make it dolin. I need to build my Atari punk console. Editor Mark Sandoval then responded to Matt Monday. He said, I demand you build it now. Then Peter Norvasis follows it up. And he says, I like bacon, and this scratches my ass. I like bacon, and this scratches my ass. I demand you build it now. I demand you build it now. Mac Monday. I need to build my Atari punk console. I like bacon, and this scratches my ass. Demand you build it now. I need to build my Atari punk console. I demand you build it now. It half your voice, but you know, make the dolin. Demand you build it now. I demand you build it now. I like bacon and this scratches my ass. I like bacon and this scratches my ass. I like bacon and this scratches my ass. It's right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there, I guess. Hang on a sec now, will you, Jen? <laughs> Dylan Schnauzer. <laughs> Atari Punk Console Mark Sanibel's mustache better do a remix of this recording, or I'm gonna... I'm going to see him at a show that we're both playing at next month over at Manor Reading Center down in Fort Myers, and I'm, I'm finna tell him, dude, do a remix of my shit. Do another remix, dude. I demand you build it now. I demand you build it now. I demand you build it now. By build, I mean remix this fucking recording, dude. And Peter Norvasis better remix it, too. Right there. Because this recording is very right there. It's kind of a neat song. Okay, that was, uh... Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> yeah, it happens to be one of the real good ones right there. It's kind of a... It happens to be kind of one of the real good ones. Okay... But you know make the dolin. Half your voice, but you know make the dolin. But half your voice, but you know make the dolin. Half your voice.
have a neat song right there.